How to build the 12 ton tanker. First, start with your tanker bits. Print them in any color you like, add your own water slide decals, the whole works. From there, you'll want a little bit of glue at the top and you can install your tank cap to said top. Next, take out your keyway piece. There's two of these options. There's one that's just this piece or there's one with a hollowed out area. On Amazon, you can buy these weights. They are standard quarter ounce weights and these keyways will hold five of them. You can get them from Amazon or anywhere else or you can even walk to a local tire shop. They have thousands of them they need to throw out from old tire weights. If you don't wanna get your hands dirty, just walk up to them and ask if you can get some from their used bin, which is what I did. From there, you will print the hollowed out version and stop it at various layer heights and put in the weights and continue the thing. And you'll end up with an ounce and a quarter worth of a key weight. From there, it just slots in here. You'll put a little bit of glue here, and then you'll slot these two together. And then you'll hold until it cures. The seam has been placed on a banding thing. I can't remember the exact name for these right now, but it's to conceal the seam, and that way you can get layer lines in the circular direction and the only thing that really looks ugly is the end caps uh, but your tank itself is going to be perfectly round and you're not going to have the layer lines at the top of the build after that you're going to want to apply a little bit of glue right here followed by this well the well slaps on and you're good to go from there you're going to want to take your end brackets and you're going to want to be very very gentle uh, when you pull these off, these little bits are only printed at one layer thick, but they just fit into that groove in the tanker. And you want to make sure these are perfectly aligned with your well. Next, we're going to take our chassis bits. You'll notice there's a slot here, here, two on the end, and there's going to be one here, or these little slots here. There's lots of slots and grooves, and we'll see what they're for in a little bit. But first, these two major ones are going to be where your well is going to slot into, and these two on each end are where these two fit into for your brackets. So you just line those up, and then once that is all snapped together, again, you can totally just come down here and glue it or whatever works for you. You'll then take these, You'll notice there's little ends on them. Uh, they're going to slot right down there. So I personally like to bend them inwards a bit just to get them started. And then I will take two sets of tweezers, grab one, and then just push it down. And then once those are secured, they can be just solidified with a dab of glue. Now, if you wanted to stop there, you totally can because then you can see the, like the labeling. However, for realism's sake, I made a second strap. This just folds over. And again, be careful when taking it off. And then these, much like these cross members, slot into slots here, here, and on the other side as well. So get to inserting those and put a little more glue down. Yeah, I have to get those in place and you go glued all the straps together. This is how it finally looks. And from there, you're just adding your chassis fascia. For instance, you can print off these brake apparatuses and these four slots will fit in these four holes. Install a set of buffers. On eBay, you can find these 38 inch spoked metal wheels from Eve model. That's the exact term, uh, ones that I bought, but basically you just need spoke wheels. I use metal. Uh, the dimensions of these are consistent and that's what they've been calibrated for, but they just are like needle points. So they go in this side, go over there and a simple push. And you got rolling. And from there, there's, there's I've included two. There's this chassis, which is NEM compatible, so I personally just bought these NEM couplers. They slot in here, and then there you go, you're ready for your next one. Uh, or there's a hook and loop that kind of models the Bachman ones that you can also print off and put in there as well. I just don't find they work as well. And then you're ready to latch up to another car. Print yourself a bunch of these or my troublesome truck or my brake van and go flying down the main line.